Hello and welcome to the main cave. Now in today's video, I've got the Sofa Baton X1S. And what we're going to do today is we're going to set it up like you've had it for the first kind of like 15 minutes. We're going to set up a device and we're going to set up an activity. So once it arrives, then you'll get the remote itself. You'll also get this, which is the hub, a UK plug, two USB type C cables and two IR extenders. So the first thing to do then on your remote, take off the screen protector and you're going to charge it. Mine came with absolutely no charge, so I needed to charge up from flat. So leave on there for probably about 20 minutes, just enough so we can get some activities working. Okay, so the first thing to do is get onto your appropriate app store and type the word sofa baton and download the app. Then once you open it, tap on X series on the right and we're gonna set up a new hub. So now what you wanna do is you wanna connect the power to the hub, I used the USB type C cable that was in the box. Plug that into power, plug that into the hub. And then you'll see on the front, the blue light. There's a button on the back, you need to hold that for three seconds. So just keep holding that until the blue light starts flashing. Then onto your phone, click the blue light indicator is blinking, next and allow and it will search for your hub then after a few seconds it will pop up with the hub click on that and then click on your wi-fi and enter your credentials and it will just flick through four different things of sending confirming configuring and then the node association this will take about 30 seconds once that's done it's connected so click on it x1s hub and now it may ask you to do an update of a firmware so just click update and then it will spin through all the way to 100 percent until it's finished. Now once that's done, you'll be back here, so click X1 Hub again. And now in the top there, you can rename it. I just renamed it Main Cave, and then hit Save. Now what we wanna do is we want to add our first device, and I'm going to add my LG C1 TV, and it really helps if you know the model number for it. So LG, and I know that my model number is OLED 65C14LB. Found it straight away, and then I clicked on it. Now you just wanna hit complete, and it will update it. Um, I've sped this up, but it will configure up to 100%, and then it has been added. But if you look at the top there, it says not configured. You just need to do a couple of things, and it linked to it at the top, the power settings and the source configuration. The power settings, choose one of the four that you want your TV to do, and one of these, one of the three of how you want your TV to behave. Once that's done, now all we need to sort out is the source configuration. So click that and whether you need to switch an input or no need to switch, I selected here, no need, and then we're done. Now I wanna do is I wanna add my JBL soundbar. So again, JBL, click on that. And I know that it's the multi beam. So if I just typed in multi, there it is. Click on that, click on next, and then complete. So again, not configured, so click on that, and we need to do the power settings and source configuration again. And we just go through this same menu, choosing whichever one is appropriate for you. Now we're gonna add activity. Now down the bottom, if you click on activities and click in the middle, what we're gonna do is just a simple one of watching TV. So I want the picture on the TV and the sound coming through the JBL. click next then next and we'll confirm the power state for both of them so we want to turn them both on and I'll, for the volume I want to use the JBL so I'll select JBL and next and then everything else my LG TV so then click next now we can choose an icon whichever one you want and hit complete now when you look on the remote it will be syncing from what you've done on the app to the hub to the remote and then once that's done, it will come up into activities. And if you select that, it will show you the watch TV, which we added earlier. And if you select that, it will turn the TV on, the JBL on, and the remote buttons will be the volume for the JBL and everything else will be for the TV. We can also control them individually, the LG and the JBL on their own. 
or using the activity. Now, if you wanted to hide the hub away, you have a choice of putting these IR extenders if you're using infrared to control your TV. You just plug it into one of the sockets and then feed this end piece out towards the TV so you can hide the hub in your cupboard somewhere. Okay, so that's it then. Very first look at the first 15 minutes with the Sofa Baton X1S, adding a device, adding an activity. I hope that's helped. Please do like, please do subscribe, and until the next video. Bye-bye.